Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and one of the questions I get most often is how do I get on Mail Monday, or just crazy Mail Monday questions in the middle of Xbox Live lobbies. <laughs> so I thought I would have put out a video to answer these questions. Before I do, this is a game of infection. I'm playing with subscribers. You'll notice that my private match rules are a little different than the pub match rules. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Anyway, let's get going. First things first, where and when to write. It is best to write on Sunday or Monday, and it is best to send a YouTube personal message. The thing about YouTube comments, Facebook comments, and Twitter messages is that they're not anonymous. And the last thing I would want is for someone to get into some sort of hard time social issues because they asked a question that was meant to be private and then they get outed when I you know, answer them in Mail Monday. So uh, leave it to a YouTube personal message. That way I can protect your anonymity. If you guys watch the show, you know it's not that uncommon for me to mask a guy's location or age or something like that just so that no one discovers who they really are. But um, there it is. Sunday, Monday, YouTube personal messages. Let's keep going. Next up, the topic. All right, so Mail Monday has a collection of topics in each show. Some of them are picked almost purely for entertainment, and usually that's the sex one. Some guys say, Woody, why is Mail Monday only about sex? Why did you only notice the sex question is my answer to you. Because I usually grab one that's for entertainment. I'll grab someone, you know, another thing that might make me pick a letter is someone who's really in need. You know, if there's a guy who's suicidal or depressed or maybe has um, you know, a really bad support system at home, and I think I can make some kind of difference for this person, I'll pick that letter. Um, and then another thing, I'll pick a letter, even if it's not the world's biggest problem, if it's a really common problem, and I think that, you know, I can help more than one person by answering this question, then I'll grab that. So those are the, the three basic things I look for. That there has to be at least one that's entertaining each week there has to be um one you know if someone's deeply in need then that sort of adds priority to it and um, um if so, if a question is really common then that adds priority to it as well um oh oh another thing i try not to duplicate my topics too much if i were to answer you know friend zone issues every week then the show would quickly get old and nobody would like it so there you have it that's what to write about the note I wrote to myself here is grammar, but it's more than just grammar, it's also length. Uh, sometimes people write to me these things that would be three printed pages, and they're all kinds of irrelevant details that don't matter and don't help people, and I can't use a letter like that. If it took me six and a half minutes to read your letter, then it just doesn't fit in the Mail Monday format. It would take something really extraordinary to, to, to have you know to make a, for a letter like that to make the show uh, look at the letters I've picked before they're they're usually one or two paragraphs they get right to the point and that's your thing the other thing is grammar it needs to be readable if I'm stuttering and I can't get through your letter because you don't use any punctuation or you don't use any you know, sentence breaks you, you don't it's all you know one long string of text then um, then it's not a good fit for the show you know you need to put as much uh, care into writing your letter as I'm going to put into answering the letter. That's that's kind of the, the social contract that we have here when we do Mail Monday. So yeah, don't make it too, too long. You know, it, it, Try to find a way to remove details that aren't necessary and, uh, and make it smooth and easy to read. You know, that's, uh, that's an important thing when you're talking about reading letters on a YouTube video. And the last thing I wanted to point out there is there are some people who have this expectation of a reply. Now, I reply to probably 30, maybe 50 letters a day. And um, on Sundays and, and Mondays, I reply to even more. Like while I'm doing the show, it'll be like, all right, this guy needs help, but you know, he's not a good candidate for the show. Um, the thing is, there are a lot of other people who are like, Woody, I've written twice now and you still haven't replied. And you have to understand there are 930,000 of you and only one of me. I don't have any staff. I, I, I'm just a guy who uploads YouTube videos. So, um, you know, I, I hate to think and say it like this, but um, you just understand that if I don't reply, it's not because... I don't care. It's because I can't. It's because I get, you know, 10, 15,000 letters a week. Even though I reply to 30 or 50 letters a day, I have 158,000 letters that I haven't replied to yet. So, it, it, I mean, it's a backlog that no human could ever tackle. Anyway, um, I do my best to choose letters that can help maybe you because you someone else wrote something similar, but I can't do personal replies to everybody that writes me, and I'm sorry. All right, if you like the video, be sure to click on like. I appreciate that. If you're new and you like the video, click subscribe on that top right blue box. On the left is Mail Monday. On the right is a commentary on what it would be like if I started YouTube all over from scratch. So have a good day.